It couldn't have been a clearer statement from the Falkland Islanders. Um, obviously, nearly 100% of people voted in favour. Argentina should sit up, take note and back off. Well, it's a bit like the residents of Nether Wallop voting nearly Nether Wallop? unanimously. Nether Wallop may be an imaginary village of 1,600 people, which is the population that voted in this uh, referendum. And it's like Nether Wallop's population voting nearly unanimously against a high-speed rail link. It's interesting, but it cannot be allowed to trump the whole country's national, economic and geopolitical So their voice interest. doesn't count, and it well, should be it's, ignored. It's uh, interesting, but it cannot uh, be a veto, because by definition, if this is a British overseas territory, the sovereignty lies with us, not with them. You can have an Antarctic ice station declaring itself to be a country and having a veto over British policy towards the Antarctic. So what I've argued here and elsewhere for a long time is that we should reach an agreement with Argentina for joint sovereignty over the territory. The people can remain British, they can have British passports, follow British customs, wear absurd Union Jack waistcoats and bow ties like the one on the picture behind you. They can continue all of that. It's a Gilbert and Sullivan show, so far as I'm concerned. But the actual waters and land must be shared with Argentina, not least because if we don't, the day will come when we have no sovereignty at all. Because we cannot defend, for all the bluster of Hugo Swire, you don't we, think it's we're a capable. bankrupt right. country. Let's just take the point, though, this idea of shared sovereignty. They can stay, the, uh, the Falkland Islanders, as British as they want, and they want to, but we have to be practical about sovereignty. This was the idea of leaseback, which is what the Foreign Office was running hard with before the Falklands War in 1982. A slightly different version in George's where he puts it. Um, George, I really don't think you should patronise them in this way. You wouldn't patronise the people in the Western, Western Isles, Stornoway or Sky, for being few in number and having views. I remember when the war erupted, it struck me as if it was the equivalent of Stornoway being invaded by a military hunter with s pronounced fascistic tendencies. How could it be? Because Stornoway lies a few miles off our coast. I understand. Does that make the Falklands difference? lies a few I'm just miles saying, off Argentina's George, coast. You shouldn't and patron tens of thousands of kilometres from our you, coast. You shouldn't patronise so the comparison them with Stornoway? It's not worthy of you, George. It is not worthy of you to patronise these people. It's a preposterous appendage of British colonialism. But that's it lies point. off the coast of Argentina tens of thousands of kilometers from here. We're a small, almost bankrupt country off the west coast of Europe. The idea that we are going to war and going to uh, allow our uh, relationships with the whole of Latin America not, to be subject to veto of 1,600 not, meters. Not, just show some respect to use your own word to those people. That's all I ask. Who now, is this, what, by the way? I don't what know is, who this is. We've met before. Peter Hennessy, George Galloway, all right, Joe Peter, Coburn. Uh, now, glad, uh, be, Peter Hennessy, let's, let's, let's get back to the practicalities of this because, as I put to Hugo Soire, there is a real issue that tensions may well have escalated as a result of this, that actually rather than sort of deactivating um, relate, you know, d d the, the tensions between the two countries, it's made it worse. Well, the tension is higher now than it's ever been since the, um, the immediate war and the immediate aftermath. There's no question about that. And indeed, in the anniversary, the 150th anniversary, it was very tense. And going back to the submarines, uh, Trafalgar-class hunter-killer submarine was carefully put in the South African press in Simonstown on the way to the South Atlantic as a deterrent. So I in no way diminish the seriousness of all this. And indeed, leaseback was a serious proposal. And one of the fascinating things in the evidence to the Franks inquiry that Mrs. Thatcher gave, oh. unlike the Chilcot inquiry into Iraq, it was private, was declassified in January, was that she said that if the negotiations had continued in New York and got really serious and deadlocked and had got very fraught, she would have taken it to the International Court and tried to negotiate through an arbitration system. It's very interesting. The, 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 the sovereignty question has been there ever since the 1830s, as, as George knows as well as I do. But the, the, I think it was very important for the people of this particular British overseas territory to express themselves because every government has, uh, since 1982 and indeed before, said the wishes of the islanders are paramount. And I agree with that, and it's a fundamental disagreement with George. But that, just, to, just to clarify, of course, it, the vote doesn't have any credibility in terms of international law, doesn't have any, any sway in that sense. No, but in any open democratic society, if p the people concerned want to express themselves through a referendum, who are we to deny it? And in a way, George Gallagher, I put to you, has the attitude that you've expressed 
also just motivated the Falkland Islanders to go out and restate again in, in such um, terms as they did in this vote, rather than opening channels for dialogue. Yes, I think it has increased the tension and I think it has but that's your made view. matters uh, worse. The United Nations has asked us to negotiate the Latin American countries as a bloc unanimously. And by the way, Latin America is one of the few happening places in the whole world economically. It's in our interest to have good relations with them. Uh, have but, uh, but have blocked the with Argentina. But what's the connection? Apart from geographical, which mm. I grant you is, is obviously a fairly strong point in favour, what else is there connecting the Falkland Islands to Argentina? Well, you look at those pictures, there's nothing connecting. No, that's them. the people, not the territory. Well, but the, the people, people are the important. Pe well, they are, but we're talking about a British territory. So what matters above all is what's in Britain's interest, not the interest of 1,600 people. It's the point I'm trying to make. You wouldn't allow the high-speed rail link to be stopped by a near-unanimous vote of a small village in England through which it was going to pass, because you'd say our bigger national interest lies in building the railway. Right. What about this idea of survival? as was put by the oh, ambassador I... to London. I mean, there is there is a pragmatic view that says, look, we have to sort this out, that there has to be some sort of shared sovereignty for the islanders to perhaps have a better quality of life, um, to have better connections between the they two. Can, they can keep going. They've kept going since 1982. And indeed, the run-up to the war, quite a lot of our uh, Falkland school children went to secondary school in Argentina. There were trade links and there were uh, sea links and so on. And that was severed by the war, understandably, and the aftermath. But those islands can be kept going. There's no question about it. What about George Galloway's point that actually going to war just isn't really a possibility? No, but there, it, it is always a possibility, isn't it? Is it actually out of the question I in think terms it, of I think it is uh, in terms of the uh, deterrent capacity of the aircraft on the island and the presence of the hunter-killer submarine when it's needed down there. That is enough to prevent a rerun of 1982. George Galloway, well, uh, thank you. No, I'm afraid I'm going to have to stop it there. What a great there. pity. Yes, what a great pity. But there you go. All great things have to end sometime.